Which books should a person read at least once in their life? The Demon Haunted World by Carl Sagan It's basically a treatise or plea on critical thinking and proper application of the scientific method for the good of the species. Here's a quote. I have a foreboding of an America in my children's or grandchildren's time when the United States is a service and information economy, when nearly all the key manufacturing industries have slipped away to other countries, when awesome technological powers are in the hands of a very few, and no one representing the public interest can even grasp the issues, when the people have lost the ability to set their own agendas or knowledgeably question those in authority, when clutching our crystals and nervously consulting our horoscopes, our critical faculties in decline, unable to distinguish between what feels good and what's true, we slide, almost without noticing, back into superstition and darkness. Many wonderful quotations from that book. One of the saddest lessons of history is this, if we've been bamboozled long enough, we tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozle. We're no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozle has captured us. It's simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. Once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. The importance of being earnest by Oscar Wilde reading plays is a great experience plus this one is hilarious. Wilde was the true master of the quip and observations that never get old. Bigamy is one wife too many. Monogamy is the same. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. He was a well-known aesthete. As he lay dying, his supposed final words, this wallpaper and I are fighting a duel to the death. Either it goes or I do. The man who mistook his wife for a hat by Oliver Sacks. No seriously. It's a non-fiction journal style book about a psychiatrist? edit, neurologist, and how he dealt with the different problems, illnesses and issues and in turn how the patients have been able to adapt and overcome the obstacles. It's very moving, not always easy or pleasant but powerful book. Surprised to find this on here but glad that Sachs has other people that appreciate him. Have you read any of his other books? I love this one and am curious if there are any other you would recommend by him. Edit. Thank you for all the recommendations and comments regarding the author, it is good to see his memory lives on. Crime and Punishment The KGB used Dostoyevsky as part of their training for interrogations, and it was so effective that the CIA was convinced they had developed a truth serum. He really knew how to write about the inner workings of the mind. Late edit, for those asking about the source for the KGB story, I picked that up from watching Adam Curtis. Unfortunately I don't remember which of his documentaries it was in, but I would recommend all of his films, which can be found on YouTube. Notes from Underground is also fantastic, if you want an introduction to Dostoyevsky without the length of one of his regular novels. Also, The Double, A Nasty Story, and The Gambler. I love his writing, but am more of a novella guy myself. These texts are excellent for an afternoon's read and really warm you up to his writing style. Notes from Underground really impacted me the first time I read it. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl I often think of that book. What did it for me is when he talked about how some German guards were kind and some Jews were cruel. So while he saw that circumstance is what drove most people most of the time, he strongly believed that you can choose, if you try hard, to act differently than circumstances demand you act. He says it a lot better than me though. Strong to Ned recommend. Watership Down. I fell in love with it in sixth grade and stole the teacher's copy and never gave it back, sorry Mrs. R. I read that copy to tatters, have bought multiple copies and read them to tatters since. But only the brown cover with the brown bunny on front. As time goes on they're getting harder to find. I have made just about every member of my family read it. I don't even know why I love that book so much. When I open it up and read the first line a feeling comes over me like I am home. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein There's an unending amount of lenses to analyze the text through, and you can look at so many different issues, alienation, guilt, reproduction even, while reading. 
find something new to discuss or think about every time I read.